Okay, so uh, we had discussed enthalpy of formation. Now the second term we have, we write down the enthalpy of combustion. That is delta C H enthalpy of combustion. Acha, one more thing you can write down in enthalpy of formation. Enthalpy of formation could be negative as well as positive. It can be anything. Enthalpy of formation could be negative or positive anything. Okay, write down. But enthalpy of combustion is always negative here. This is always negative. Okay, statement write down. It is the enthalpy change occurs. It is the enthalpy change occurs when one mole, again you see one mole, one mole of a substance of a substance is burnt in excess air. Excess of air, the combustion process. Okay. So if you look at this example, carbon fight, I'm taking plus O2 gas, this forms CO2 gas, right? And one more we have boron solid. It is the reference state of boron, boron solid plus three by four O2 gas. It gives half of B2O3 solid. Okay. So obviously the enthalpy of combustion is negative, always negative. So here in this case, whatever energy releases, suppose delta H for this reaction is suppose X, you know, energy releases. So X, uh, I am assuming X Joule. Or let it be a magnitude I'm not taking. I'm just saying here, we'll have some enthalpy of combustion in this. But since the elements are there in a standard state, right, one mole of substance is forming. For this reaction, what we can write the enthalpy of combustion is equals to the enthalpy of formation of CO2, isn't it? Enthalpy of formation of CO2. Now suppose in this process, X joule of energy releases. X joule of energy releases. So enthalpy of combustion here is, we can say X joule of energy. Or if you want, you can put the negative sign, minus X joule of energy. If you talk about the enthalpy of formation here, right? Since half mole formation, we require X joule. So one mole formation because enthalpy of formation is defined for one mole. So half moles give X, so one moles gives you two X joule. Right. So for this equation, what we can write, the enthalpy of combustion of boron is equals to half of the enthalpy of formation of B2O3. Did you understand this? So it's not like always enthalpy of combustion and enthalpy of you know formation will be equal. It depends upon what equation we have, what relation we have. So I always keep that in mind. Combustion is always an atomic process.
Done? Yeah. Next, third term, write down. Enthalpy of hydrogenation. It is delta of hydration, hydrogenation of H. See, hydrogenation is addition of hydrogen. The term also, if you can understand, hydrogen, hydrogenation is the addition of hydrogen. Okay. Definition write down, it is the enthalpy change Enthalpy change when one mole when one mole of an unsaturated one mole of an unsaturated compound saturated compound is converted into converted into one mole of a saturated compound by addition of hydrogen. Done. Okay. What is hydrogenation you see? Suppose you have an, so first of all, what is unsaturated compound? Could you tell me? What do you understand by unsaturated compound? And what do you understand by saturated compound? Unsaturated compounds are those compounds which, is, which has double or, or triple bond, right? Which is double or triple bond. So in this, we have alkene or alkyne the example, double or triple bond. Saturated compounds are alkane. Right, unsaturated compounds are those compounds which shows addition reaction. In saturated compound, addition reaction is not possible. Substitution is possible, okay? So what happens here, you see, you have uh, this, uh, suppose this molecule, you have an alkene, C double bond C, Right, when it reacts with hydrogen, H, H bond we have, then this sigma bond, this pi bond breaks and it converts into this compound, which is an alkane here. And some energy comes out in this process. This energy, if one mole of substance is forming from one mole of substance, then this energy is called the enthalpy of hydrogenation. Number of moles must be one for both. Correct, enthalpy of hydrogenation. Energy releases in this process, right down. 
why energy releases that we'll discuss in organic chemistry when we discuss the mechanism of addition of this particular reaction right so heat or energy releases in this process always energy releases in this process exothermic correct look at this example suppose we have ch2 double bond ch2 when it allow to react with hydrogen there will be some catalyst also we use for purpose and the product would be ch3 ch3 ethene converts into ethane if you have benzene ring if benzene ring Three moles of H two we are taking for one double bond, one H two. So three double bond, three H two. It converts into cyclohexane. Energy evolves is enthalpy of hydrogen. Thing we have. Okay. Now you see one question here. We discuss questions. Calculate the enthalpy change. Enthalpy change when acetylene is hydrogenated. Hydrogenated to ethane. Hydrogenated to ethane. Enthalpy change in this process. See the reaction, and there are some data given. Data is what we have: enthalpy of combustion of carbon, enthalpy of com of carbon. Is given in ninety kilojoule per mole. Okay, we have enthalpy combustion of hydrogen. This is two ninety kilojoule per mole. Enthalpy of combustion of C two H six. It is minus one five six zero kilojoule per mole. Enthalpy of combustion of sorry. Enthalpy of formation of C two H. It is two thirty kilojoule per mole. Copy this data first. Okay, see how do we approach this kind of question? Question is, calculate the enthalpy change when acetylene is hydrogenated to ethane. So acetylene, the reaction is this: H C triple bond C H. Acetylene is hydrogenated to ethane. Two molecules of H two we take, so it is C H three C H three. This is the reaction we want. Right. Okay. Now, this data. What would be the reaction for this? It is a combustion reaction. So carbon plus O two solid we are taking. O two gas gives. CO two 
gas, we have the energy involved, it is given. Combustion of hydrogen. So hydrogen plus gas it is, plus half of O2 gas, it gives H2O. The enthalpy is given minus 290. What is this reaction? Enthalpy of combustion of C2H2. So C2H2, right, solid plus O2 gives CO2 gas plus H2O liquid. What is this uh, number of moles of O2? Because we need to balance this reaction. How do we balance this? this Balance over here. We have two CO2 here. Four plus one, five. We'll have five by two here. Now, what is the delta H? formation of C2H2. Two H6. This reaction. This should be what? This should be a product minus reactant. Right. So what do we write? Acha, okay, Acha, okay. One thing you see. Okay, we can do one more thing. Fine. This we need to form, correct? With, because when I write on this, you see it's here. When I write down this of C2H, right? This equals to what? We form this, this constituent element. It's from carbon and hydrogen, we need to form this. Carbon and hydrogen we have here, and we need to form C2. Right. What we'll do from these three equations, we'll try to form this equation right down here. Try to form C solid plus gas gives C2H. We'll try to get form this equation from this three. How can we do that? Obviously, it is balanced with two C we'll have over here. How can we do that? Tell me. How do we get this equation from this three? We need to add one plus two. We need to multiply this one with two, multiply this by two, add the second equation and subtract the third one, isn't it? So can I write this equation one into two plus equation two minus equation three? Can we do that? Tell me, I don't have space much. Is it fine? Tell me guys. Where is H2? Which one, Anusha? Tell me. Which equation you are talking about? Oh, yeah. Do you understand this really? All of you, please respond. Did you understand this relation? Yes. Fine. So, first equation is enthalpy of combustion of carbon. So what I'll write here, you see, I'm just scrolling this a bit up. Okay. The first equation is enthalpy of combustion of carbon. So we'll write here. 
Yes, yes, right. In order to get the desired equation. So in we write the first one two into the enthalpy of combustion plus enthalpy of combustion of hydrogen and minus minus what will write enthalpy of combustion of ethylene right right enthalpy of combustion of acetylene c2h2 but one thing here we have since we have invert the equation acha okay we have now what would be this this value is substituted so 2 in 39 plus minus 29 Minus enthalpy of combustion of C two H two is it is not given in the question. Enthalpy of combustion of C two H two is not given in the question. So I'll write down this as it is. Delta C H C two H two. But this form we have enthalpy for two H two. We have this side. We have two thirty. So could you find out enthalpy of combustion of C two H two here? enthalpy of combustion of c2h2 equals to when you solve this you'll get minus 1300 kJ we need enthalpy of combustion of c2h2 See what I have done. You see this. When you write this properly, and I don't have much space, that's why maybe you are get confused. See what I have done. We need to find out the enthalpy of this equation. Right? So if you know the enthalpy of combustion of C two H two, enthalpy of combustion of H two, enthalpy of combustion of C two H six, we can do this. That would be this minus this. so everything is given enthalpy of combustion of this given in the equation is this but c2h not mentioned in the question right enthalpy of combustion of c2h not mentioned in the question right so we'll try to find out the enthalpy of combustion of c2h2 that finding it out from this equation because formation is given how this c2h2 forms the c2h Forms by the addition of carbon and hydrogen. So, with the help of this uh, data, we'll find out the enthalpy of combustion of C two H two, which is this, which is this. Understood this? Now, for the desired equation. Which is this here? You see, this is the desired equation. I'll just change the color so that don't get confused. Kilo joule, and the desired equation is this one. So in this, the enthalpy of this reaction would be enthalpy of reaction would be enthalpy of combustion of C two H six. The product minus we have enthalpy of combustion of sorry enthalpy of combustion of of combustion of c2h2 plus enthalpy of combustion of hydrogen into 2 this is what we need to write because we have 2h2 here no 2 we need to multiply 
Now, all the values you have, you just need to substitute the value into this in order to get the answer. You see here, enthalpy of combustion of C2H6 is given in the question, minus 1560, minus enthalpy of combustion of C2H2 we have calculated, minus 1300, minus two times of 290 for hydrogen. When you solve this, you'll get approximately minus 320 kilojoule. This is the answer we have. Enthalpy of this reaction. Just you need to, you know, add and subtract in order to get the desired answer, desired, you know, equation, just you need to add and subtract. But while adding or subtracting, you must take care of that you need to multiply with the number of moles if it is given. Which equation or are you are talking about? The equation is not given, just a second, you see. With the question, question is what you see. Calculate the enthalpy change when acetylene is hydrogenated to ethane. So acetylene is this hydrogenated to ethane. So for this reaction, you need to find out the enthalpy change. You see, for this reaction, you need to find out the enthalpy chain. That's the question. Huh. How did I write down these equations? I think this you are talking about. This one, right? This equation? Yes. Yeah. From this data, you see, enthalpy of combustion of carbon means what? Carbon plus O2 gives CO2. Hydrogen, H2 plus O2 gives H2O. If this data is given, then obviously corresponding to these data, the equation would be this. Yes. Similarly for combustion C2H6, the equation is this. Now with the help of these data and delta F of C2H2, we'll first find out the enthalpy of combustion of C2H2, which is this I have done over here, which is this. Enthalpy C2H2 forms by this equation. In this, we have enthalpy of combustion here. This enthalpy of combustion, you will get this. Now, this will use to find out the final answer. Enthalpy of combustion of C2H6 minus enthalpy of combustion of C2H2, which is this we have calculated, minus enthalpy of combustion of H2 into 2. That is what the equation we have written over here. And this. Basically, you need to just write down product minus reactant. That is it. Nothing much. Correct, understood. Okay. I would request all of you to solve this question also on your own once after the class. Okay. Then probably you will understand what we have done. Okay. Yes, guys. Did you understand this? Yes, once you solve on your own, the solution you have already, I will share the notes also. You will understand that what I have done, okay? Because the space is not that much. If you have changed the board, then again, I have to again come back and look at the values, okay? That's why I'm not going to the next slide. But I will share the notes. You can, you know, whenever you stuck, you can go through this solution, you will understand. Just one thing you need to keep in mind, that product minus reactant you need to do. With the given data, we'll write down the reaction and we'll add or subtract in such a way so that we'll get the desired equation. Clear? Okay. Yeah. Write down next enthalpy of neutralization. If you go a bit far, we can finish this chapter today itself. Write down enthalpy of neutralization. Neutralization process, what do you understand? Acid base reaction, right? When one mole of an acid gets neutralized by one mole of a base, or one equivalent, also, you can say the amount of energy absorbs or releases, that is the enthalpy of neutralization. Very basic uh, you know, definition we have. All the definition, if you see, we are taking one mole. If it is neutralization, then we have to consider acid-base. Acid if it is combustion, 
then reaction with O2. If it is what? If it is formation, then reaction with, with the constituent elements. One more, right? So write down the definition. The enthalpy of, uh, it is defined as It is defined as the energy absorbs or releases. Energy absorbs or releases. When one equivalent of H plus, when one equivalent of H plus in dilute solution, when one equivalent of H plus in dilute solution combines with one equivalent of OH minus, one equivalent of H plus in dilute solution combines with, it is the enthalpy of neutralized, it is defined as, it is defined as the amount of energy evolved or absorbs, amount of energy evolved or absorbs when one equivalent of H plus, when one equivalent of H plus in dilute solution combines with one equivalent of OH minus to form water molecule. Right? So whenever you have strong acid or strong base, generally we take monoprotic acid, strong acid and a strong base, if you reacts, it forms salt and water. Salt and water, right? Generally we have one equivalent of it will take, one equivalent of it will take monoprotic acid. Like we can have HCl, we can have HNO3, only one H plus donor. And monoprotic base also, like we have NaOH, KOH, etc. Then obviously the energy releases in this. Like mostly the energy releases. Delta N of H, enthalpy of neutralization. This value is find out to be, whenever you have a strong base, a strong acid reaction, it is coming out to be minus 57.1 kilojoule. This value you must remember, okay? Strong acid is strong base, minus 57.1 kilojoule, or in kilocalorie, it is minus 13.7 kilocalorie, right? So this you must remember, enthalpy of neutralization for a, a monoprotic acid or base, a strong acid or base, it is always minus 57.1 kilojoule. Okay, understood? Similarly, there are a few more, uh, you know, uh, enthalpy uh, term we have. I'm not going to dictate you this. I'm just telling you, listen, this, this is not that important. Like suppose we have enthalpy of solution. Enthalpy of solution is what? When a solute is dissolved in solvent, the amount of energy releases or absorbs is called enthalpy of solution. Are you getting it? during the formation of solution, right? One mole of a substance, that is solute, dissolved in excess of solvent. The amount of energy releases or absorbs is enthalpy of solution. Enthalpy of hydration is what? Hydration means one mole of a substance, you dissolve in water. The amount of energy releases or absorbs is enthalpy of hydration. Are you getting this point? How do we have these definitions? Yes, all of you, please respond. Tell me the definition you are getting. Do I need to dictate all these definitions? Solution in therapy, how do we get a solution. Solution we get when a solute is dissolved in solvent, correct? So how do we say the definition? 
वन मोल ऑफ सॉल्यूट डिजोल्व इन एक्सेस अमाउंट ऑफ सॉल्वेंट द अमाउंट ऑफ एनर्जी एब्सॉर्ब और रिलीजेस इज द एंथेल्पी ऑफ सोल्यूशन क्लियर So this kind of definitions are there. You can go through and and say, I have done the important one. I have done. Okay, you won't have uh, any other requirement. Won't be there. But if you want, you can go through once. Okay, because I want to take up some uh, you know topics which is there to understand. Right? We have you know fifteen twenty minutes. We have. So I think we can finish this today itself. Acha. Okay. ठीक है. Right now, next bond enthalpy. bond enthalpy okay this is generally applicable for gases applicable for gases okay write down write down it is defined as i'll write down wait hmm. it is the energy required to break one mole of a particular bond one mole of a particular bond in gaseous compound in gaseous compound to form product in in gaseous state that's why i said it is applicable for gases only see try to understand it is important and uh, i i i i don't know but most most probably you know, i have seen most of the students are confused with this okay you see it is also defined as the average energy which is required to break one particular bond see for example we have methane right we have methane over here so the bond enthalpy would be what bond enthalpy would be the average of the energy required to break this 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 and this bond all the four bonds are you getting my point right so it says what the average enthalpy required to dissociate the said bond present in different gaseous compound is called bond dissociation enthalpy i will take one example and then i'll come back to this ch4 again okay with this example you will understand the difference in bond energy and bond enthalpy there is difference in bond energy and bond enthalpy suppose we have water okay we have water h2o gas gaseous state 
if you break the bond of oxygen and hydrogen, you will get hydrogen gas, right? And OH gas, just to break the bond. We have this. Suppose the enthalpy required to break this bond is, it is given 501.87 kilojoule per mole to break this one oxygen and hydrogen bond. Further, if you want to break this oxygen hydrogen bond, here this bond, if you want to break, then what happens? You see, you will get oxygen gaseous atom, hydrogen gaseous atom, right? But if you think that this enthalpy should be same like we had earlier, no, it is not. This enthalpy is different. This enthalpy is 423.38 kilojoule per mole. Got it? So if you, if I ask you to calculate the bond enthalpy of H2O molecule, then the bond enthalpy of H2O molecule would be, bond enthalpy of H2O molecule would be, it is one and two. So it is the average of this two, means it is delta H1 plus delta H2 divided by two, which is 501.87 plus 423.38 divided by two. If you take the average here, you get 462.62 kilojoule per mole respectively. So bond enthalpy, don't get it, get confused over here. Bond enthalpy and bond energy are two different thing. Bond enthalpy is the average energy which is required to break the bond. All will be in gases state. Yes, understood. So in CH4 also you can think that this is, suppose we have delta H1, this is delta H2, this is delta H3, and this is delta H4, right? So what is bond enthalpy here? bond enthalpy for CH4 would be the average of all these, right? So delta H1 plus delta H2 plus delta H3 plus delta H4 divided by four. This is the bond enthalpy. Tell me, understood? No, yeah. Look at this question on this. The question is, one mole of, of phosphorus gas atom is converted into into P4 gas molecule. It's converted into P4 gas molecule. We need to find out We need to find out the bond enthalpy in this delta H. So you see what happens here. P4, sorry, phosphorus gas converts into P4 gas. Balance this equation, you'll get one by four over here. So delta H for this conversion would be what? The bond energy of reactant minus the bond energy of product. I forgot to write down the data given over here. The bond energy is given. Phosphorus, phosphorus bond energy is given here. 
and it will be given in the question. It is 500 kilojoule per mole. Right? So we don't have any, you know, phosphorus, phosphorus bond here, right? So it is zero minus, here it would be one by four into, into the bond energy of this. What is the bond energy? P4 molecule, you see, it is a P4 molecule. This you should know the structure. This is the P4 molecule. One, two, three, four, five, six bond we have. So six into 500, which is minus 750 kilo joule. Right. So basically, if you see this uh, here, if I write down the enthalpy of this would be what? There are six bond, right? So six into bond energy of phosphorus, phosphorus, and this should be the average energy. That should be the average energy. Right. Since we have one by four over here, so one by four will multiply. Right, and here we always write reactant minus product, not product minus reactant. You must keep this in mind. Bond enthalpy, if you need to find out, so reactant minus product. Right, if I write down here, like in the case of methane, here also we have this energy, you see, the bond enthalpy, this delta H bond enthalpy, sorry, the bond enthalpy of this would be four times of the bond energy. But this bond energy is the average bond energy of CH bond. Average CH bond energy. Right. Because average is nothing but this. So this average bond energy, you can substitute at this term. Four and this four will get cancelled. This will become equal. So whenever we have this kind of molecule, like P4, we have, we have S. Eight we have, we have CH4, then we have this expression that number of bond into the average energy that we have. This energy which is given is average only. Okay, done. Achha. One more thing which has been asked in J, this you have to memorize. Okay, it is a three dimensional thing. So probably you won't be able to uh, visualize or understand this. What type of molecule as in any molecule it is applicable, right? But we always take here the average bond energy. Any molecule it is applicable. If not, then each bond energy will be given. If average is not applicable, each bond energy will be, will be given because without that, you cannot find out this. So like here, average is not written, but we are considering this as average. 
Okay, one last thing here. The question is, this was asked in JE as well. I would say this you memorize. Okay, the term is, is there, you, you should memorize this. The question is N atoms are present every corner of truncated octahedron. Truncated octahedron. Find delta H. 